Texas. This is Audrey here with another wig and I'm gonna add some makeup this time video. As you can see, I am in between lock appointments right now. The hair is looking wild. I actually usually don't really mind when my hair is um kind of have I, it's grown out and you know in between because it does give me a little more volume, but I feel extra rough. August I will be one year locked at the end of next month I want to say the 26th yeah so today um wig Wednesday this video will be sponsored by beauty supply refresh we have two wigs I'm not really sure which one I do I have two colors I have a black um and then I have like a copper color I might do the copper just for fun do something else we're gonna do a bob look today with the wig and we are going to do some orange makeup using my juvia's place culture palette so let's get right into it work, 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 work. Let's jump right into the video. Beauty Supply Refresh provided me with two wigs. They are the same style, the Sheer Muse collection from Sensational. This is their Empress Lace wig. I got it in both 1B but also in Ginger Red. And we are going to put Miss Kesha on today. I really like the hair. It's not super silky. It has a kind of a coarse texture to it, which I really like, makes it look more natural. So here you see me making sure that I take care of my own hair first. I'm using my main man beard brand, Lion Lock Lemongrass Mist, and just making sure I really get my color treated ends and that I get my scalp and it really around my edges. I'm definitely not a person who feels like you can't wear wigs or other hairstyles just because you have locks, but it's definitely important to make sure that we're caring for our locks when we have them under these protective styles or wigs or whatever you want to call them, just so you know that your real hair is together. So you'll just see me getting my ends because they're color treated and my edges because you try to avoid getting glue on the edge of your hair, but sometimes you are going to get it on there and that's where we get into like proper lace glue removal, but that's another video. So here I am just getting my wig cap out. This color, Beauty Supply Refresh always has the color I need. So this color just makes me the lace look more natural to me, especially when it's a good lace wig. So I'm enjoying my short locks. So usually I do not even braid my hair down unless I want to have crinkly locks after. I just throw my locks to the back and place this wig cap right on top. So once I get it on, then you see me flatten it and get my hair as flat as I can just by going under and pushing my hair back until it's super flat and securing the back inside the wig cap. So the first thing I loved about this wig on first impression is that if you can see here, I have a very small head. I usually have to crisscross the drawstrings to get it to be hopefully tight enough. But with this, like it immediately was tight and comfortable and fit my head perfectly. I didn't even have to move the drawstrings in the back and there is no elastic band or anything in it. It's just like a very good fitting wig. I did do some plucking. I am not professional at plucking, so I didn't do a lot. I did just a little bit. And so here I am just making sure to adjust. I don't like putting combs into my locks personally. So I usually put the combs either under a wig grip or under the actual wig cap. And here I'm just showing you that if you wanna get jazzy with the wig, you can. It is meant to be a middle part, but I was looking at it and I was thinking, shoot, I can do an asymmetrical look with this bob if I wanted to. Um, but for today, we're gonna to go ahead and put it back as a middle part and we'll install it that way. But this was really cute, I liked it. So here I am trying to make sure that I just push the baby hair back and I am cutting my lace I like doing it in three or four sections just so I can work with each piece of lace separately and really get the good cut that I need in order for it to look as natural as possible when I get done. And I think right here, y'all, I cut some of my eyebrow hair because when I went to get my brows done, it was some hair missing. And looking at this video, I think this is what happened. So I'm just clipping my hair back so that I'm it's not in the way. This wig does come with natural baby hairs and I want to keep them. 
I don't usually gel them down, but I do use them just to kind of be in that area and hide the lace. I may mousse them down a little bit, but I don't really do a hard gelling of the baby hair. And you'll see me rocking the scissors back and forth, just trying to get a not super straight line, just so it's a little more natural. So here you'll see, I got all the lace all cut off. Of course, right now I haven't melted it, so you can still see the lace a little bit, but it's really not bad for me to not have done anything, not have done any melting. Sensational has been doing a thing with the wigs. And right here, you all, I realized that I messed up. Usually, I spray and lay my first layer down before I cut the lace off. And I realized right there that I had already cut the lace before putting glue on. But it was fine. People cut the lace off and you wear your wig multiple times. So it wasn't a big deal. But usually, when I first wear my wigs, I do like to do that first melt with the lace on. So here you see me going in with my first layer of glue. And I'm putting it just right on that wig cap and using my fan to just dry it a little faster. And you'll see me keep tugging on the wig cap. I'm trying my best to just make sure that that wig cap is in front of my hairline when it melts down and not getting so much glue exactly on my hairline. Depending on how far you're your hairline comes up sometimes it's avoidable especially by the ears I'm sorry not avoidable especially by the ears but if you keep pushing it down and using the fan you can try your best to not make to make sure that it's not on your hair so you can see here I'm struggling with some hyperpigmentation right now so I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown stick in the color very peach to just cancel out a lot of those dark mark areas I'm currently preparing to move to Texas and just preparing has me stressed this Bobbi Brown stick does help so this was starting to get tacky so I want to go in with another layer of spray so that I'm doing that now while I'm letting my Bobbi Brown just sit and then we're gonna go ahead and add the wig so that we can tie it down so I'm gonna just make sure it's straight as possible make sure my parts in the right place and you see it's already sticking as soon as I put it down and it was off a little bit now that I'm looking at it now in the video, but you know, you get the point. So here I am just pressing it down on my edges and just making sure all the parts are down. This wig has a very thick lace around the ear part and it was really hard getting it to lay down for some reason. Um, so here I'm parting out the baby hair so that I can um, have that out. And when I put the wig band on that, Part of the hair is already out um, so I can just use it to cover the lace on the edges if I need to so going back in in order to blend out that Bobbi Brown very peach um, blend out those dark marks I just take a puff I did wet the puff just a little bit just because I haven't letting it sit so long just to kind of make it a little easier to move around and I'm going through here and I'm just adding a little more on my cheeks those dark marks are so really heavy so as you guys um, explore my channel and watch the videos that I bring to you, you're gonna be seeing that I'm really learning when it comes to hair and makeup I do not find myself to be a professional by any means so this is my favorite brush for concealer under my eyes it's pretty much the only brush unless it's dirty and I got about four of them that I use under my eyes it just gives me a very smooth base um, I will link all my products in the description below. I, of course, like I said, moving to Texas and I actually packed all my makeup and so I can't remember the number to the brush, but I do know it is by Real Techniques and it's like Pro Concealer. I don't remember, but I will link it below. So I'm going through here with my Fenty Concealer in the color 410 and I'm just going over those dark marks with the same areas where I put the Very Peach Bobbi Brown and you know doing under my eyes and all of that good stuff i'm gonna let that sit while i do my brows i am not the best at doing brows i just try to do mine to work best for me and then i really just clean my brows up a little more when i do my concealer and do my eyeshadow So right here I began using a brush to go under my eyes, uh, my eyebrows, and I realized that it was just getting really dark. 
And I guess I must have put one of my dirty brushes in my clean brush tin. At this point, I was just like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna make it work. I've already gotten this far, but you're gonna see the later on in the video, I do go ahead and wipe that off and redo it because it just, it was messing up the entire look. I'm going in with my P. Louise concealer in the number one, I believe. Very pale light, basically white color. Um, I love this concealer. It keeps my eyeshadow on pretty much shoot all day it's times where I don't get on me for this slept in my makeup and I was able to wake up and it was still on so e. Louise is a very good brand and so that is what I am using here so I'm gonna go in here with just a little setting powder to set this in place I like to really just get my concealer really smooth with no lines this look, I don't, I guess I was rushing because I was trying to get this wig review done and I feel like everything that could go wrong or be off with this look was. Um, but I just made it work. I was doing some recording. You couldn't really tell once everything was done. It, I was just getting stressed out with this look, stressed out with the wig because that part kept coming up. So I went through and now I'm spraying some spritz. Again, I got this method from a lady on TikTok. And so now I'm going through the edges and that spritz will run down your face. Oh my God. Um, so I'm probably not gonna do wig then. I'm probably gonna do wig complete it first, get it tied down, and then do makeup last while I'm on my last tie down because the spritz just kept coming down my face. It was a mess. Um, but I'm going through with the spritz layer and then I'm gonna tie it down one final time for the last melt. <laughs> So for eyeshadow, I am going in with my Juvia's Place Culture Palette. I, if you see, I haven't really even tapped into. I've had it for a while. I'm gonna use these this little orange section here to do kind of like a little orange color. Again, I'll link it in the below. So I'm using the lighter, like orange sand shade in order to go into my crease. So I'm really building on that, trying to get that as bright as possible and keep it right in the crease area. And here I'm taking my e.l.f. in fair white. I wouldn't necessarily call this a cut crease. I don't know, because I really, <laughs> I'm trying to get the understanding of a cut crease. I wouldn't necessarily call it a cut crease, but I am just going to take this and brighten up my lid a little bit, just so that my color pops a little more. I don't take this all the way to the very edge. I get to the middle and then I kind of just blend it out a little bit so that the colors can kind of fade from being very bright in that inner corner. Then it's a little lighter when it gets to the outer corner of my eye. And again, I'm just gonna go in with a little setting powder just to make sure that this is smooth too. Try not to, I don't wanna take off any product. I just wanna pat over it, make sure it's really smooth and it's gonna stay on when I go over it with my brush. So now I'm going in with the lighter orange shade and I'm really just trying to pack that on. So I'm gonna go over the same area quite a number of times. And actually that is not orange, it was more of like a golden color I did in the corner. Um, and I'm just, just making it really buildable. That's one thing I love about Juvia's Play Shadows. They're very pigmented, and even the lighter colors, the more that you pack it on, you can get your desired shade and covers that you want. And sometimes when you're putting on shadows and all of that, you can lose your crease. So I'm just going back in here again to make sure that crease was still there. And this is where I'm going to come in with that bright, bright orange and take that from the middle all the way out to the corner. I wanted to add a little more dimension, so I'm going into my Coffee Shop palette by Juvia's Place and going into the darkest brown. I'm just gonna wing it out 
and then take it in my crease with a small brush. So you're still seeing that light orange shade, but I'm just adding a little dimension with that dark brown to separate the lid colors from that crease color. So here's where you'll see me decide to wipe that off because I just, I couldn't even concentrate because it just looks so crazy because it I must have used that for some black shadow or something or a really dark brown and it just was clashing for me. So I took a toothpick inside a, of a makeup remover wipe and then I just gonna go back in my Fenty concealer in the shade 410, scope my brows out um, and then I took another brush to you know pat it down, get it smooth before going over it with um, my crease, my brow color. So for my under eye, I am going to use that bright orange shade again just to go under and brighten up the under eye. I still have not blended out my concealer as you can see. Um, I just like to let that sit for as long as possible and I usually just let it sit the entire time I'm doing my eye makeup. And now I'm going to go in with my No Budge Eyeliner by e.l.f. This eyeliner does not budge. Like by the end of the night, I am really fighting with it to get it off, which is good because it stays on the whole time I'm doing my makeup, but also becomes agitating because getting it off at night can be a struggle. So I'm gonna use my Fenty Fly Liner in black just to do a basic line. I'm not gonna usually I've been trying to challenge myself to do a wing on every look, but I just didn't even feel like doing that this time. So I just did a basic thin line across the top just to give me a little more of a cat eye effect. And for me, my colors here weren't blending together enough. You could really see where one end and one began. So I just took a small brush and wiggled the line. So it can just kind of flow more. I want it to look like it's all, you know, one gradient color and not patchy. So you can see that I went in and just made that more seamless. So now we're gonna move on to face. So I'm just spraying my Beauty Bakery spray, drying it up a little bit just cause I was, I over sprayed. And then I'm gonna go in and blend out my concealer. For contour, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the color Truffle. I took a chance to do another experiment here. I want to try the viral light to dark concealer into blush trend that is going around. So I started with a really light concealer, um, my Fenty in 380, and then I did the 410, and then I am going to be using the Juvia's Play blush here, their liquid blushes, which I am in love with their liquid blushes. And I, again, can't think of the name of this one right now, but I will put it underneath in the description bar. And so this is going well until I start doubling back. I, um, and so to me, it kind of started making it all a little orange. Um, it ended up working out in the end, but I definitely should have just kept going out and then came back in with a different brush to get it all panned out. I like to put my foundation on my hand first. Maybe it does warm it up, I don't know. It's, to me, it just makes it easier for me to grab a little bit off my hand and control it. Um, and I don't feel like I waste as much product as when I put it on to other things like little discs and stuff. So I put mine on my hand and I grab a little bit at a time, almost like a little paint palette. And then I go on my face and blend it all in and blend it together. I try to avoid my under eye and just only have concealer under my eye as much as I can.
I'm um, getting my Beauty Bakery Translucent Powder and my Real Techniques Setting Brush. I love this brush. And just really getting under my eye with that setting powder to set so I don't have any creasing under there where my makeup is. We don't want to look like we're cracking. Now we're gonna brighten up that blush. We're gonna go into our Juvia's Place blush palette, grab that orange and just really dab it on our cheeks to just make it a little more orange. I also got the new liquid luminator from Juvia's Place and I am gonna use that for my highlight on my cheeks, nose. So here I'm taking my Juvia's Place lip pencil and lining my lips. I don't overline. I feel like I got pretty full lips as it is, so I don't feel the need to do that. So I'm just going right in my lips and just doing a nice straight line. And again, I was just doing this for a content day, so I'm just going to use my Fenty Clear Gloss just to give my lips a little gloss on it. Didn't do any lipstick today. So getting this wig combed out, taking out the ponytail, like I said, I did have it just a little off with the part now that I'm looking at it here but that's fine it was for a content day it was fine um, and so but the lace lays down really well in my opinion those ear tabs were a little hard to get laid down but overall uh, you just got to kind of just make sure you put enough glue down I love the texture of the hair it's you know it kind of has more like a kinky feel it's not super silky the color is gorgeous um, the hair has a nice bounce to it. I've worn it two more times since making this video and the hair still looks great. Sensational is one of my favorite brands when it comes to synthetic or mixed fiber wigs. Realized here, I wanted to go back in just with my setting powder just to make sure um, that my you know makeup lasted and I also did not have any mascara on. So I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara here because I could not find my uh, Fenty Hella Thick. Um, but the Better Than Sex mascara works really well um, for me. I didn't feel like putting on lashes just to do a few content videos. So I just wanted to make sure that my la my personal lashes were defined. Again, as much trouble as it was, I really do enjoy this look. So leave comments below and let me know if you'll try this wig and what you think about the makeup. 